1 Chronicles chapter 15. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites, for them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron, and the Levites. Of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twenty. Of the sons of Merari, Asaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty. Of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief and his brethren an hundred and thirty. Of the sons of Elizaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred. Of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren fourscore. Of the sons of Azel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Asaiah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Aminadab. And said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites, sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding, by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed him and the son of Joel, and of his brethren, Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brethren, Ethan the son of Keshiah. And with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jeziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jael, and Uni, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Maaseiah, and Mattathiah, and Eliphele, and Machneah, and Obed-Edom, and Jael, the porters. So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass. And Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jael, and Uni, and Eliab, and Maaseiah, and Benaiah, with psalteries on Alamoth. And Mattathiah, and Eliphele, and Machneah, and Obed-Edom, and Jael, and Azaziah, with harps on the Sheminith to excel. And Kenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song, he instructed about the song, because he was skillful. And Barakiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark. And Shebaniah, and Jehoshaphat, and Nethaniel, and Amasai, and Zechariah, and Benaiah, and Eliezer, the priests, did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God, and Obed-Edom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David, and the elders of Israel, and the captains over thousands, went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obed-Edom with joy. And it came to pass, when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Kenaniah the master of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting, and with sound of the cornet, and with trumpets, and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michael, the daughter of Saul looking out at a window saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verses 1 through 36. So they brought the ark of God, and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, and a good piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and to record, and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief, and next to him Zechariah, Jael, and Shemiramoth, and Jael, and Mattathiah, and Eliab, and Benaiah, and Obed-Edom, and Jael with psalteries and with harps, but Asaph made a sound with cymbals. Benaiah also and Jehaziel the priests with trumpets continually before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on that day David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. 
Give, thanks unto the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the people. Sing unto Him, sing psalms unto Him, talk ye of all His wondrous works. Glory ye in His holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and His strength, seek His face continually. Remember His marvellous works that He hath done, His wonders, and the judgments of His mouth. O ye seed of Israel His servant, ye children of Jacob, His chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of His covenant, the word which He commanded to a thousand generations. Even of the covenant which He made with Abraham, and of His oath unto Isaac. And hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth, show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen his marvellous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, he also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honour are in his presence, strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindred of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name, bring an offering, and come before him, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him, all the earth, the world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof, let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because He cometh to judge the earth. O give, thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth for ever. And say ye, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give, thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel for ever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Romans chapter 1 verses 18 through 32. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonour their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed for ever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but of pleasure in them that do them. Psalms chapter 10 verses 1 through 15. Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God, 
God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous, thy judgments are far above out of his sight, as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places doth he murder the innocent, his eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den, he lieth in wait to catch the poor, he doth catch the poor, when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth, and humbleth himself, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten, he hideth his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite, to requite it with thy hand, the poor committeth himself unto thee, thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man, seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Proverbs chapter 19 verses 6 through 7. Many will entreat the favour of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, how much more do his friends go far from him. He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him.